spend some money on yourself to level up your content so you could start producing at a higher scale so you can get your face out there more and therefore get recognized faster. All right, what's going on fam? Welcome back to another fucking video. So I'm about to do a podcast basically around content creation and investing in yourself. Uh, what's up, Minnie? I feel like there's a lot of individuals out there that would like to blow up. You guys would like to be like a certain YouTuber, you'd like to be like a certain actor, you'd like to be like a certain TikToker or Instagram influencer, etc. but you ain't doing shit. You're not putting out any content, and if you are, you're putting it at a very small fucking scale. And what I mean by that isn't necessarily the posting, but it's like the posting and the consistency and the quality and everything else that's happening. So I'm gonna do a podcast, I'm gonna deliver a little bit of value to my fucking audience, um, and then I wanna take you through a little bit of the behind the scenes of my day, so stay tuned. All right, fam, so we're getting the podcast set up right now to deliver some fucking value, I'm excited, but I wanted to show you guys a couple things because I'm amped up, um, and it's literally the two smallest things ever. I hung my gun up, all right? I actually got that, uh, piece of art done by Kissing Pink. And then I hung our, our PT Domination Vision up here. Literally just so it was at like eye height so I could see it all the time. Eye height while I'm standing as well because I'm short as fuck. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to put something there. I'm gonna add like some whiteboards and stuff right here so I can write on and get a calendar and stuff like that. And then I'm thinking about putting like some other art here and I ordered my shoe case. Um, I got a shoe addiction, guys. Literally, Daniel fuck me. It's literally all Daniel's fault too, I'm not even playing. It is all my fault. You wearing those fucking Jordans, dude, those brown ones? Like, they look good with everything. Yeah. With everything. I'm obsessed. I literally, like, I, every single time I see them, I'm like, babe, I want those. And she's like, fuck my life. Oh, I got a little fucking headset stand, too. Oh. Little subtle changes, bro. Little subtle changes. It's the little things. All right, little things. Bro, I did a fucking lot, actually. I've got... Uh, I don't have any time. Well, I'll show you guys after the fucking podcast, okay? I'll show you after the podcast. We're gonna go live right now. What's going on, Wolves? Welcome back to another episode of the Wake Up the Wolf podcast. It's your boy, Cold the Self, and today we're gonna be talking about investing in your content and the importance of it if you want to be seen. All right, we're gonna get into that in a second here, but first, you guys already know the ask. If you get value, if you enjoy this podcast, or even if I piss you the fuck off, but it helps you change your life in some which way, make sure you share this out to your friends and family because we do not run any paid ads to grow this podcast. It is all grown through word of mouth, okay? And also, don't forget, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube yet, make sure you do so because in the month of May, I'm giving away $1,000 cash, no strings attached. All you gotta do is subscribe and engage for a chance to win. All right, I feel like a lot of you guys want to be influencers. All right, I feel like a lot of you guys want to be online business owners. A lot of you guys want to do something online in order to make fucking money, all right? And when it comes down to just making money, the reason why I utilize the word influencer first is because a lot of you guys would like that. You want to be seen. However, a lot of you guys don't have any motherfucking content that separates yourself from the masses. Think about the person who inspires you the most. Maybe it's a podcaster, all right? Or something along those lines. Each of the individuals, all right? Each of the individual things that I just broke down have one thing in common. They are putting out fucking content. If they weren't, you would not be inspired by them. You would not see them. You would not know who the fuck they are. You get where I'm going here? You guys need to produce content if you would like to be seen. The reason why you look up to them is because they are doing something that most other people aren't. Make sure you go to my YouTube, subscribe and engage. Because again, at the end of May, I'm gonna give away $1,000 cash and all you gotta do is be an avid listener slash supporter. I'm out. Peace. Guys, when it comes out of this podcast, if you're tuning in live right now or if you're on the YouTube channel, I do this every single day, Monday to Friday at 9 a.m. PST. The reason why is because I wanna provide value to you guys. I don't get paid for this shit. I don't get paid for YouTube. I don't get paid for doing live streams like this. I don't get paid to do podcasts. I do it because I like to provide value. And today, when it came down to this podcast, it was all about investing in your content. I don't get paid a fucking dime off YouTube. I'm spending around fucking $6,000 a month on it. Why? Because I want to be a big YouTuber. I want to push myself out there. Now, could I have done that with four vlogs a month? Probably, maybe, but it's a lot harder. It's gonna take a lot more time. But if I fucking start producing at the level that we are now, which if I'm not mistaken is like 12 videos, if not more a month, it is the chance to happen quicker. 
Moral of the story, guys, invest in your motherfucking content if you want to be seen online. We out of here. Peace. So that gives us a little bit of downtime, which honestly is super fucking nice, guys. Um, I thought I was going to be back to back to back to back to back today uh, because we have another very busy fucking day. But today is all about content creation. Uh, my entire morning is honestly pretty fucking swamped. Um, slayed my workout with Patty. You guys saw that in the last video. And then fucking had a meeting just in my podcast. Um, then Nick Schaefer is going to be right uh, here right away. We're going to do a home photo shoot, which I'm very excited for. Um, and then I have a training a little bit in the afternoon that I cannot wait to show you guys. Yo, so yesterday, Julia was feeling a little bit under the weather and I wanted to do something for her for Mother's Day. So we didn't go to breakfast, but while she was sleeping, I thought she like noticed that I was doing this too. Um, I brought all of this stuff downstairs from the upstairs balcony. <sighs> Literally got it all down here and like situated it and got it all set up. And then I want to show you upstairs. Yeah, look at this thing. This thing's sick. And your heaters over here right? too. Yeah, heaters and stuff. Did I ever show? I don't know if I ever showed them the blinds. Stay there for a second. The cool thing with this as well, guys, is in the summer and stuff like that, we want to work out here, we want to do different stuff. I can go like this. Oh, what the fuck? Did I ever show you that? No. Really? Here, look. I'll, I'll actually put down this one. Um, oh, this one closes too? Oh, and that, that closes too. Oh, yeah. Look at that. There we go. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Cool as fuck, right? I did not know that. That's so dope. You literally close in this entire area. Like this is all fucking manual, bro. You go like this. How sick is that? Dude, that's dope. You right? can nap out here. Yeah. So we're gonna get like a little chair, and then you could sit out here. You could fucking, you know, like keep the, the bugs out and all that other shit. That is so sick. And then there we go. No fucking way. Eh? Yeah, bougie. Give it a solid. Uh, Mm, uh, 8.5 out of 10? Nah. Oh. Oh. 9.2. <laughs> Alright, bet. There you go. <laughs> guys, what do you think of the hat? Fucking in the comments below, let us fucking I actually know. love that hat. Hey guys, no joke, like I probably do a minimum of like five shoots a month around there or something like that because I just know how important it is to separate yourself from the fucking masses and like by Shooting with a couple different people, you get like an idea of how everybody's style is. And I'm very, very picky with the people that I shoot with. I'll only ever shoot with Brayden usually. Um, but me and Nick did a shoot, was that at the gym first? Our yeah. first one? Yeah, you're yeah. we did one at the gym and it was fucking dope. Like he absolutely slayed it. So like right away I was like, okay, we need to shoot more. Finding photographers and videographers that you fuck with is very, very important. Is to help again separate you from every other fucking content creator on the goddamn planet. Content is key because if you don't have good content, nobody's gonna fucking hire you. It's just a fact. If you're looking at somebody's profile that looks like they took everything with their cell phone and they're not investing in themselves, why the fuck are they gonna invest in you? Hmm? Exactly. Exactly. Ex exactly. Exactly. That's what I mean. This is another reason why you should hire people who know what the fuck they're doing. Because again, like with my prep brain, like I know how to pose. This is why I'm able to get into what he's telling me right away. Um, but having somebody that's this quick is fucking awesome. Like, okay, next thing. Like right away, like most photographers are like, okay, like go ahead. And then they stare at you. And that's then if you don't know what you're doing, you're like, Weird shit, and that's how you get awkward ass fucking photo shoots the whole fucking thing. Yeah, and my goal with your photo shoots and anyone's photo shoot is to get you as much fucking content as I can in as many different outfits exactly. as I can, in many different locations as I can in the shortest period of time. And why is that? So that you can post multiple times and make it look like it wasn't the same fucking photo shoot over and over and over again. And, you, yeah. and they'll come back to you. That's why photo photographers who are good will do that shit instead of giving you five fucking photos and charging you 10 fucking grand. Yeah, exactly. That's the other thing is I never limit my photos. I'm never going to be like, you get 12 photos. Fuck out of me, it's bro. so stupid. Hire, like there was a girl who did specifically like maternity shoots yeah. uh, before we hired Brayden. Yeah. And we were like looking at her because she does really good jobs. But then when we fucking inquired, she's like 10 photos is $700. What? We're like, are you fucking retarded? That's insane. So I was like, nope, I'm just gonna go with one of my boys who know exactly what they're doing and he fucking slayed it, knocked it out of the park. I'm like, there we go. He gave you a fuckload of photos. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Crazy. My Gangster Shane. Did <laughs> I show you that the other day? Let's see. That fat one, bro. And look, I'll show you my thick fucking pirate chain, dog. I haven't seen this. When did you get that? Where did you get that? Uh, clocks and colors, man. 
Their fucking shit makes me so happy. I fucking love it. Look at that shit. It's so dope. Right? And it comes with a fucking matching bracelet. Oh, no way. That pirate oh, shit, bro. Lit. Ooh. Damn, son. Iced out. <laughs> Man. Fuck you. Whoever you thought you were, yeah. not. You're I, trash. I am. <laughs> Portable poop shoes. Yeah, bro. Imagine having to do that for your job. Imagine right. having to fucking. The only place you could escape from minus 35 was in those things, bro. Right? I know. That's what I used Imagine to do. having a day job. Hey, that's what I literally used to do, bro. Really? Yeah, if you escape minus 35, the only fucking warm place is in that shitter. Ugh. You like Brandon get a fucking slack, sack sponsorship? That'd be so dope. Dude just glanced over here and double took you for a second. You're just staring over at them. What's that? Oh. Doing the standings fucking hard as shit. Fucking abs are cramping. There we go. I fucking like it. So that wraps up the shoot. Perfect, bro. Bunch of content. I like it. A little bit in the fucking house. A yeah. uh, little bit of a different contrast than fucking usual. Now, when it comes down to these guys, again, you don't need to hire somebody to come into your house and shoot like fucking Nick has done for me today. You just gotta start taking content. That's why I like always wanna urge everybody to start utilizing their phone, understand how their fucking phone works, go on Google, go on YouTube, search up the fucking settings, etc. Um, and like, understand the piece of machine that's in your fucking pocket or a piece of machinery so you could start taking content to put online to get in front of more people to start doing the thing that you want to fucking do like becoming that person that blank like we talked about in the podcast the next whoever inspires the fuck out of you my best piece of advice if you are just using your phone is get yourself a phone tripod learn how to use the self timer and just sit your ass beside a big fucking window right i mean that's, that's all you need just a big window beside you natural light self timer and you're good to go that's another huge thing guys like you'll see um when we're sitting around and like where he's placing me it's always in front of the window so like i'm here the window's here yeah stop fucking taking videos like this with the window behind you because all it does is darken your entire face. It's like the sun. Like it's fucking, think about it like the sun. That's literally all you need to think about. Have the sun on your face and you're good to go. Yeah. All right, it'll change the fucking game for your content. When it comes down to like photo shoots, uh, how long have you been doing them? Like how long have you been taking Fuck, photos? Fuck, I've been taking photos since 2009. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so over a decade for sure. Now, um, obviously they don't know, but fucking you're our client. Yeah. Peak denomination as well, which a lot of you guys don't fucking know. Um, what do you think like higher quality content has done for your business in general? Oh, it's tenfold, man. I mean, if you're, I think I already said this to the camera, but if you're just taking cell phone photos of yourself and there's other trainers out there that are taking high quality content like you, who are you gonna hire? When you go to two separate profiles, are you gonna hire the guy that's just taking cell phone photos that doesn't look like he's investing in himself, putting any money into himself? Or are you gonna hire the guy that looks like he's got a million dollar business? Exactly, and that's it. It's separating yourself from the fucking masses. Guys, you do not need to be the most jacked, the most rich, the most shredded, mm -hmm. that's just how it is. Like even, like if you take my body in context to a lot of other fucking creators out there that are putting out content, they are way bigger than me, way more shredded than me. I'm just willing to put myself out there. Um, I'm willing to like challenge myself and take some photos and some videos and put myself in front of the camera because I know it's gonna benefit me in the long run. Minnie, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and this is literally my life, like fucking doing a talk, having a conversation with you guys and then dealing with that. Hey. <laughs> She's so focused, bro. She's not fucking playing. Um, but plug your socials, big dog. Um, Nick.s.shafer, that's S-C-H-A-F-E-R on Instagram. Just look me up. TikTok? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> right, bro. Yeah. Yes, it's, out. it's the same on TikTok, but uh, that's out. just starting to grow. There we go. There we go. And guys, that's it. So I wanted to show you that photo shoot with Nick because I feel like it's very important to understand what goes into these creative processes. All right. People see the TikToks. They see the Instagram posts. They see the vlogs, but they don't see like what happens on the back end. 
Um, so I kind of wanted to take you guys through the like through the experience of what a shoot looks like, like what happens behind the scenes of one of those shoots. And I also wanted to share that with you guys because honestly, it's a little bit of a uh, vulnerable thing for me, all right? I haven't been comfortable enough to take my shirt off, all right? Not to mention do a shoot in front of people in the last three and a half years. And I've been busting my ass to get myself back to a comfortable position. And even though some of the photos give me a little bit of anxiety, I just saw them on Nick's camera, um, it was worth it. All right, it was worth it and I'm very fucking happy that I did it because who knows when I'm gonna be like this lean again, all right? Obviously, I still have 12 days to lean up even more and I'm gonna do even more shoots when it comes down to getting closer to the show, but capturing these moments is very fucking important, not only for your business, if that's what you're looking to grow, um, but for your mental state, all right? To capture different moments that you are traveling through when it comes to your life, all right? So hopefully you like this little behind the scenes breakdown of what goes into one of my days in creating content. I appreciate you guys so much for fucking watching. Make sure you like the video if you do. All right, make sure you check out my fucking Instagram because there's gonna be photos from the shoot all over the place. All right, I'm super excited about a bunch of them. Comment below, let me know what you fucking think about the video and what you wanna see next. And hit that subscribe button because again, like I've mentioned twice already in this video, you could win $1,000 cash, peace.